So OpenAI just released GPT image one. So they're just saying, introducing our latest image generation model in the API. That means we're not talking about regular chat GPT. We're talking about being able to use it programmatically. So for example, we could build an MCP server around it and use it in cloud desktop where I use all my other executive functioning tasks. So I'm gonna try and use this GPT image one to build an MCP server around it and then have cloud desktop make thumbnails for me. The big question though is pricing. Text input tokens, where you're telling it what to do via text, $5 per million tokens. Image, where you're putting an image in and telling it to create something based on that image, $10 per million tokens. And then the image output tokens, this is what comes out of it, $40 per 1 million tokens. So here they say in practice that translates to two cents for low, seven cents for medium, and 19 cents for high quality but square images. So if I'm trying to make a thumbnail, it's gonna be more expensive. The GPD image is now available via the images API, so not in the responses API. Okay, so you know what? We're just gonna put it into cursor. So we're just gonna copy this page and go for it. So I'm cursor, let's create a folder, documentation, then let's image one doc.md, and let's just paste it all in. And now we're just gonna to talk to the cursor agent with Aqua Voice. Okay, we are going to build a Python-based MCP server that uses the new Image1 tool from OpenAI. You have a documentation for the Image1 in documentation folder. You have a bunch of other MCP documentation. We'll use FastMCP, we'll use SCDIO. You could use Context7 for getting necessary documentation and you could use the other tools at your disposal to build this out. We have too many MCP servers running. Cursor only allows 40 MCP tools at one time. So you have to go into your cursor settings and disable them one at a time based on what you're trying to do. I just did that. So let's press go. Okay, 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 this is awesome. Really excited. So I finished creating the image one MCP server. So I'm just gonna show you guys so cool. So first of all, let's open up Cloud Desktop. And yes, 142 tools or all these MCP servers is a lot. First, let's just see if it works. Create a photorealistic image of a man yelling at his computer and the computer has arms of its own, raising them in the air like I don't know what to do. Okay, so you see here, it's calling my OpenAI image server tool, allow for this chat. It takes some time. It takes about a minute to two minutes, sometimes less. And that could create some issues for Claude because Claude doesn't want to wait for a tool call response for this long. I'll work on that. I just want to get the functionality down. So this is what I created. Pretty relevant. If you've been developing or vibe coding or working with Cursor, I'm sure you understand this image pretty well. Maybe you should have a little bubble saying, Oh, I found the problem. Okay, so this is where it gets really cool. I want to be able to create thumbnails for me for my YouTube videos. I know my thumbnails aren't great. There's so much to do when you post a video, believe it or not, and shooting videos and editing videos and doing all the extra stuff for videos always comes after all my consulting hours, so it's really hard to get it all together. So I'm trying to optimize this process as much as possible. And I've also created other MCP servers that help me along the process. For example, I have this YouTube creator helper that, that does a lot of the mundane work that I do when creating a video. So now this OpenAI image server is also part of that plan. So start a new chat. Here are some examples some of my other YouTube thumbnails. I want you to use them as inspiration and create me a new YouTube thumbnail for my new video on OpenAI's new GPT Image 1 API and making it into a MCP server. Leave room for me to add my face later. Give me three variations and make sure the image is closest to the aspect ratio expected for YouTube thumbnails, which is like 16.9. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste in like a screenshot of my other YouTube thumbnails and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's calling the OpenAI image server. Okay, I've created three YouTube thumbnails options for you. So let's look at them. GPT image MCP server, image API power, AI images unleashed. Okay, these are cool, but I want it to be a little bit better. I'm gonna give it a more specific prompt, better reference images and specific text I want. There. Okay, this is a great start, but I wanna refine it. I want the text to be GPT image one MCP server. You should keep the same type of background of a bluish pink. Okay, let's see if this does it a little bit better. And the truth is, I could also give it an image of me and put it in there. GPT-1 has the ability to take different images and put them together. For now, we're just doing the basic text part of the thumbnail and I'll add my face in later. Okay, so created three different versions. I'm not even gonna wait to read this. Okay, this is cool. This is not exactly how I do it, but I think this is pretty awesome. Okay, this one, and this is option number three. So I prompted it a little bit more. Here are the final two versions, one or two. I think I'm probably gonna go with this one. All I have to do is add a picture of myself on the bottom. And I think this is a huge step in the right direction. I will keep working on this. I still have to make the MCB server itself better. I took what I learned from 11 Labs 
and I just copied it right now. This MCP server is for my own personal use, so I don't care that it's touching my desktop without permission. I don't plan on publishing this MCP server, but if enough people ask, maybe I will. And this video is sponsored by AquaVoice. That is the tool that I was using to dictate to my computer. I'll put a link to AquaVoice in the description below. At some point, someone's gonna say, you shouldn't create an MCP server for everything, and I know, but I have a long-term plan here. Creating all these tools to help me get a lot of my mundane tasks done faster. And eventually it won't only be in cloud desktop or cursor. These tools, these MCP servers will be used by specific agents in these multi-agent workflows. So yeah, OpenAI's new image one API is really cool. I just made an MCP server with it. There's so many things you can do with it. I want to keep improving it and playing with it, but I already found a use case that will help me in my daily life. And I guess what I'm trying to show you guys is that you could look for the things in your life that you do repetitively that can be improved with AI or some type of workflow, MCP server or whatever, and then make it happen. Make it small. Don't try and make it solve 10 problems or five problems. Make it solve part of the problem. I hope you found this video interesting. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.